This summer, we have seen firsthand just how dangerous building those high-rises can be in downtown Sarasota. Accidents can happen any place, any time. But as Kate Flexer tells us, right now it seems like they're happening a lot. Kate? Well, thanks, Alan. Hard hats and cranes are a common sight in downtown Sarasota. But could the high volume of construction also be leading to a high volume of accidents? It caught the city's attention as two construction workers dangled 150 feet above downtown Sarasota after a scaffolding line snapped near the 15th floor of the new view condominiums. In the end, firefighters performed what's called a high-angled rescue, bringing the workers to safety. The victim was harnessed in quickly so that he was safe. And once he was harnessed and safe, we were able to take our time, make sure we did everything as safely as possible. At the time, the fire chief told ABC7 those types of rescues were rare. The chief had only seen about six of them in the last three decades. But less than one month later, an almost identical scene at the nearby 624 Palm condominiums, leaving another worker clinging to life after a scaffolding motor malfunction. And again, the fire department came to the rescue. We do have people on site that are going to take a look at those motors to see if there's things that could be done to prevent this in the future. Next door at the Essex House, resident Dr. Lottie Verano says it's not just the workers who are potentially in danger. They feel like ducks in a shooting gallery. That's the best way I have of describing it. Verano has documented on multiple occasions debris that he says fell hundreds of feet onto the Essex House driveway. He went a 30 pound post and 12 two by fours, any one of those could have maimed or killed anybody, no question about it. It's an issue he's taken to the city commission asking for tighter regulations. We reached out to the developer for the project but have not heard back. And we're helpless. We need somebody that can say to the contractors enough is enough. Attorney Ted Eastmore of Matthews and Eastmore handles cases related to construction safety and says there are a lot of regulations in place. He attributes the higher volume of accidents to the higher volume of construction in the downtown area. In my 35 years of being here, I've never seen that much activity in building in downtown. So I think that some of the accidents are, are just a product of the fact there's so much construction going on. He says scaffolding accidents like those seen recently are surprisingly common. If you looked on the internet and, and searched for scaffolding accidents, you would see they're more prevalent than you, than you think. And people are getting injured, people are getting uh, killed as a result of falling off these high-rise buildings. It's a job Eastmore says that's inherently dangerous, although some accidents can be prevented. The bottom line is, if you're building a high-rise building, it's dangerous. And what we can hope for is that people will follow the rules and take all the precautions to prevent as many accidents as are, are possible. The fire chief tells us the department regularly practices those types of rescues.